here for round two. Currently 1-0. Oh. Hand looks pretty good. Get to go visionary into right visionary. So yeah, I'm, I'm in there. I guess we need to draw an untapped land. Yeah, we kind of need blue and white mana. We have green with Lanor away, so I prefer to not take damage every time I tap for green, since most of our deck is green, and maybe we can rely on Crippleth Threat to actually provide the blue, so maybe we should Wild for Forest. If our opponent kills our creatures, then, you know, we're not going to... We're not going to have all our colors, but I think we're probably losing at that point anyway. All right, so we have the coast. So now we can go right into Visionary. Next turn we can play Displacer and use it. So we're kind of going off. We're kind of doing it. Our opponent has black mana in their deck though, which is always scary. Can always just kill our creature or transgress us or whatever. What'd they pick up? Evolving Wilds, all right. Alright, so we have the Advocate covered. It appears that they are straight green black. Oh no! Kalidas! Should I blink my visionary or just blink their Kalidas and start pounding them? Think visionary. Ooh, hello. All right, that was really good. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no, we're going to get languished. Oh, no. There's only one planes in this deck? That's weird. Well, that's a shame. <coughs> Excuse me. So we can play 4-5 Advocate, Recruiter, and Lone Dried. Or we could just Visionary, I guess. Instead of the Recruiter, save the Recruiter and activate it next turn. Ooh, so many Advocates. So now we must rebuild. So we have nine mana. Can play Advocate Recruiter and hold open Avacyn, which seems pretty nice. Our opponent's still stuck on four. Well, they hit their fifth. Love it. Vigilance creatures are pretty nice with Crypto with Right, too. Kind of love that. All right. 
right. So can we afford to send our Sylvan Advocates in? Yeah, maybe we should keep more colors open. 3, 6. We can displace twice. 4, 8, 12. Not quite enough. All right, let's recruit into another recruiter. I think I'm fine trading Advocate for a Kalidus and letting them have a zombie. So I could play Sky Spawner and flip Avison. Transform Avison, excuse me. Or at least try. And I kind of like that since it gives me a little bit more languish protection. I feel like if they had language, maybe they would have used it last turn though, instead of Ruinous Path. Could be wrong about that though. Yeah, maybe this is bad. Little greedy, perhaps? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, okay, this is fine. Even if we get Languish, we still have two Recruiter activations, so we're not really losing much. And we still end up with Advocate in play. Alright, so their Advocate is big now. Ooh, they have Sir Frogglesworth. All right, we bricked. It's kind of unfortunate. Now we're kind of in a spot where we can't sack the Scion to recruit. Hmm. Still have six in the air. No, we're our Displacers and Reflector Mages. Okay. So, play Displacer. Oh, that's the wrong one. Maybe what I should have done was sack Scion. And then... No, I can't... Yeah, I could do that. And then during my upkeep, I could have blinked the Avacyn with the Transform trigger. It's pretty bad if they have a Grasp. So I think this is safer, just keeping Displacer Avacyn open. But yeah, you kind of see how this deck just gets to go off a little bit, which is pretty sweet. Oh, if it's a swamp, which is kind of whatever. I'm pretty sure they're looking for spells, not creatures or lands. Hmm. I wonder what's going on here. Desperation?
If our opponent had Languish, I don't think he would attack with the Frog, because he might want that back to block the Advocate. Yeah. I think as long as I keep my projection up, I'll, I'll be just fine. So this might be one of those matchups where it's basically the same stuff. Negates, Advocates, Smashers, Stones. Although I do like Reflector Mage. Avacyn's kind of whatever. Uh, so maybe Sky Spawner. And Crypto with Right are the weak links. Maybe just Lone Dryad, period. But I like, I like Lone Dryad into Smasher. So it's kind of tough. I guess Sky Spawner and Smasher is also a thing. So now we're at 24 creatures, which is obviously pretty low. Only gonna play two negates because they can't have that many sweepers. It seemed like their deck was pretty creature heavy. Obviously that could all change after sideboard, but... Try and fix this preview card again. All right. Yeah, it looks reasonable. Uh, they kept seven. We have Visionary possibly into Sky Spawner as well. Currently lacking white mana. But we're on the draw and we have a Visionary, so... Got a couple shots at it. All right, well, we did draw another visionary, but we've also drawn a million billion white cards. We're short on lands to actually make good use of them, and we no longer have Crypto with right in our deck either. So, all right, that's, <coughs> that's white mana. That gets us there. Uh, very painful. But we'll make do. Gonna save this Reflector Mage for Kalidus. Maybe since my opponent has Gitrog Monster, I shouldn't even have Smasher. Maybe it's better to actually just have Cryptolith right and then be able to, like, you know, do Displacer. Displacer Reflector Mage shenanigans. Ugh. If I Reflector Mage, this is just really bad against Languish. And we kind of just have them covered against non Gitrog monster things, but we can still just Reflector Mage that. So I think I'm not really going to use my mana this turn. I'm just going to block with Visionary and displace the Visionary. Uh oh. Okay, okay, well. Kind of awkward because I'm just going to have to discard. Could potentially just negate this, but I think I'd rather just blink and cycle. I think Sky Spawner's my worst card. Could be wrong about that. Ooh, we have a Maya Coast. So does that mean like some Eldrazi shenanigans or what? Opponent just have a handful of languishes and ultimate prices. I think I am content to just play this game. Slowly accrue some value. I 
This is basically only doable when your opponent is not threatening super something super powerful. Like, I could not necessarily do the same game plan against, like, a Tarka or Chandra. So we have a land drop, but then we're still going to have 8 cards. We can't attack into a 4-5. We could potentially stone the 4-5. I think that's reasonable. Don't really want to give them a card. And then we have all our colors. I think it's just better for me to wilds for a forest. I don't think I care about negating that oath, even though they could get a pretty scary creature off of it that I can't negate. We got a quagmire. That's not that's not that scary. Grasp my displacer. I feel like I should just let that happen and play another one. Still get to hold open the gate, and as soon as we draw land, we'll hold open company in the gate. Although, if my opponent just passes with the Quagmire, I'm not sure if I can really make any attack. I guess I can now, because I don't have land 6, and I can just blink this thing. It's like kind of annoying to have to use my mana doing that. I think I'd rather just like play another creature, actually. I want to save the Displacer. It's possible I could Visionary... If I hit an untapped land, I could either pass with company or play recruiter and have negate. Maybe I just want to play visionary. I could also just like play recruiter, and that's kind of the same thing. I have open negate plus activate recruiter. Or I guess alternatively, I could just like blink my visionary too. So yeah, I guess that's fine. We'll just do this. All right. So now we'll pass. Languishé. So I could negate this, but they could also just have another languish. But I'm not really sure what I'm saving this negate for otherwise. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Ew, four five. Four fives are big, I like four fives. Ooh, painful truth, that's cool. That is a magic card. Taking four to cast that though is pretty tough. Yeah, Tracker's not that surprising. Just kind of going off with Evolving Wilds. Love it. Just always very scared that these companies are going to brick, but what are you going to do? That's mostly a brick. I like Reflector Mage. I 
And should I also play an additional creature? I think so. I think so. Two languages have been used already. Even if they do languish, we can still activate Recruiter. Um, if they just end up playing some creatures, we have Displacer. Mr. Frogglesworth, all right. Revealing Nissa Vastwood Seer. I like that card. I don't think that card does too much here. At least my opponent's still dead on board, I believe. So I need to make 4-4, four, four, have a removal spell for B, and then also not die to my displacer somehow, so yeah. Reflector Mage it is. That negates. Well, not really necessary. Kind of seals it up. Yes, attack my opponent. Attack the, attack the person who has the basically the same amount of life as loyalty. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so currently 2-0. Looking pretty good. 